Marco Polo, one of the world's greatest explorers. In the 13th century, he embarked on an epic journey from Venice to China that took over three years to complete. Now, Ricky Gervais is sending his mate Carl Pilkington to follow in his footsteps. But this time, he's got a little company. <laughs> Will he stop just puffing and panting like that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's like a Primark sale. He said if he did it again, he'd want some company this time. He meant me, but I've sent someone in my place. Yeah, yeah. Grab hold of that. I can't see. Yeah. They're like chalk and cheese. Carl whinges all the time. He's doing the editing. He's treating it like a holiday. He says he doesn't want adventure. He doesn't want stress. I'm just not a good swimmer. Once you're in, it'll be fine. Warwick never says no. It'll it take on a challenge. Tease the camera. Tease the camera. Now do a little bit from Oliver. Good. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the night for this, is it? <laughs> You'll have to do it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> They're going to have the adventure of their <laughs> lifetime, whether they like it or not. <laughs> Whoa. What? Oh, nah. Right? Right. Thank you for signing up for another adventure. You're going to take the Marco Polo route. Started it all off, one of the most famous explorers of all time. And he went from Venice through Europe, Asia, and you're going to end up in China. I remember telling you when Dick Whittington walked to London that he had a cat with him, his cat. And you went, why take a cat, right? Take a little mate. I didn't mean a little mate. I meant take a mate. Take someone who can help you bring something with them. <laughs> oh, hang on. Whoa. Yeah. So what are you saying? That I'm not going to bring anything to the party here? I've never seen a dwarf go on a round-the-world <laughs> trip on any programme. Reynold Fiennes, or whatever his name is, when he climbed Everest. He didn't say, here's me little mate I brought. <laughs> if I'm being honest, no, if we're being honest, though... But, Carl, because what, what, you, what you don't... What, what's, what's his height got to do with it? Yeah. I just think you're going to be a hindrance. Yeah. Oh, but this is really bad. Normally, when I've done these things in the past, all I've had to do is worry about myself. Yeah. I don't no, have that many no. mates, I don't think I need them. And maybe that's part of what's worrying me. That you're like a little sort of limpet hanging on, <laughs> dragging me back. <laughs> that's how it feels. Yeah. Limpet? Well, that's something that's just clinging on, a stag beetle, a leech, taking from yeah, you. Yeah, not you're a like limpet. A leech. That a would leech. be insulting. <laughs> no, a stag a beetle or a leech, he means. A no. leech, <laughs> sucking me blood, taking me energy because you're going, can you carry this, can you carry that? It'll be fine. It's not fine. I tell you what, I want that little bit on my phone with you going, it'll be fine. So that when you're shitting out a lung, I can go, remember that? <laughs> it'll be fine. That's what worries me. He hasn't got okay. a clue. It's not all luxury. It'll be fine, honestly. It won't be fine. Let's go to Venice. Okay. Italy? Yeah. No problem. Why not? But this, can I bring a Mitchell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> Let's go to the Coliseum. That's wrong. That's, that's, that's boring, though, anyway. It's fuck. The Coliseum. <laughs> We have oh Jurgen and Richard fight. God, bro. Yeah, give me a second. What, what the fuck am I going to watch this season, bro? I don't know. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Oh, it's going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> Marco Polo. This is where he was from. This is where he started it. Just think how old all this stuff is. You'd soon get sick of it, though, wouldn't you? It's a town made for mermaids. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just hassle. Yeah, but if you lived here, it wouldn't be a hassle because it's part of your life. And you realise when you want to get from there to there, you either jump on a gondola or you walk up to a bridge and cross. Yeah, I think we've moved on, haven't we? The time when we walked out of the water, stopped swimming about. We were fish, weren't we, millions of years ago? We weren't fish. We were some sort of swimming grub type thing. And it grew up into people. Now, I don't know how old this place is but it suited us more back then. It doesn't work, this, living like this. It's not... It, works. it doesn't work, living this in water. This city's been here hours. for hundreds of years. Where are we going? Just keep going straight. Well, I've got no option. I'm like pac <laughs> It's like a fire alarm's gone off and everyone's just hanging about. <laughs> They've come to see this. St Mark's Square. It's beautiful. 
Never heard of it. Back in the 1600s, it. right, this was the centre for culture and entertainment in Europe. You can just feel the, the energy. It's interesting how the human body was represented. The body hasn't changed, has it, from how it was then? It's just that they were probably more tanned because they all, you know, walked about with the tackle out. <laughs> if you're walking about with next and out on all the time, you're going to make an effort to have a six pack. <laughs> I've got a t-shirt on, so I'm not bothered. No one's got any pets. Why do you think there should be pets? Just to cheer it up a bit. If there was a fat ginger cat sat in the corner, it would take the edge off someone being clubbed to death. This is the stuff memories are made of. Oh, mate. That's Jesus good, <laughs> I tell you, that is going to get right on me tits if he continues this touristy thing he's doing. He's treating it like a holiday. This is how Marco Polo did it. He wasn't stopping every five minutes feeding pigeons. He's an explorer. He's pissed off over there buying ice cream or postcards or something. He's left me with his bag. Fucking <laughs> ice cream. It's going to take forever, isn't it? This. Getting all the way to China. Got an ice cream? melted a bit. It's a long way. You like vanilla? Yeah, I like vanilla, yeah. We can't keep doing this, though. Wow. We're sort of wandering about, taking pictures and that. Because it's not me, this. Yeah, but I'm, I'm trying to open your mind and open your eyes a bit and to appreciate where we are and what we're doing. And So we do the pigeons, we get ice cream, Italian ice cream. What do you mean we do the pigeons? <laughs> I've never heard anyone well, say, well, Venice, what for to do the pigeons? We've got them in Trafalgar Square. I'm starting to think I'm here with the wrong person, to be honest. <laughs> it's a show. I'm not moaning on purpose, it's just... No, I know. And you weren't to know, but I don't like this sort of setup. I mean, what's a lion doing up there with wings on? <laughs> if that was done today, you'd go, what's that shit? <laughs> what the fuck? Right. Excellent, lovely. Thank you. With the rose petals. What a lovely room. Oh my hey, yo. god. It's like going away with a yeah, girlfriend a bed, for the man. first time or something. You yeah. suddenly. I imagine. It's... Imagine they made him share a bed. Yeah. You wouldn't take up that much space. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> Just... <coughs> is, that, is that too insensitive? I'm not my bed. It's like going away with a girlfriend for the first time or something. You suddenly. This is it. I'm with her all the time. It's when you find out what people are sort of I like the little downfalls, the little irritating things that they do. <laughs> Everything's exaggerated. That's why honeymoons, honeymoons shouldn't be after the wedding. Yes. You should do it before it, find out if you like each other. Genius. Genius! Hello, um, that's Ricky, just checking in. Uh, yeah, so I saw you, you can just set it in, and um, uh, if you need anything, give us a call. Let me know if the little round headed twonk is moaning too much. Or in fact, let me know if he's not moaning enough, because that's what's funny. Um, if he's not complaining, we'll have to change that. <laughs> um, all right, speak to you soon. Do that, bye. Looking forward to today? Yeah, got some fun things I want to do. Um, I just want to show Carl sort of the, 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 the idea of the masked wall and all of that sort of thing. And it's a tradition that goes back years and um, it gave people anonymity and they could actually sort of live out their kind of alter egos behind these masks. And even idea. nuns and, and priests would do it. And so they could sort of get away with things that they couldn't normally get away with, which I think is quite interesting. What do you mean by that? Yeah. Sounds kind of counterintuitive. Yeah. <clears throat> Doesn't make sense to me. What do you mean one day you get that be who? Anonymous. Be. First of all, in America, that's called every day, if you know what I'm talking about. Um, but, like, but what's the point of being a nun and being like, oh, for one day I'm going to switch and be, I don't know, be a thought or something, like <laughs> Dude, be a hoe. crazy. Yeah, I don't know. That ass, like, oh, I'm a priest. Let me, I don't know, go have sex with some girl for a day. Like, that's just counterintuitive. It doesn't make any sense. If you guys had to do it, what would you do? <coughs> One day you get to me? be somebody you want to be, your alter ego. What would that be? You guys really don't want to admit it? 
Uh, I have no. nothing really came into mind yeah. to be honest. Nothing skinny, no. <laughs> Yo, I don't think that's how it works. You're putting a mask on your face. Sorry. You're just a piece of shit. That's would crazy. you would you be like someone famous? <laughs> no, but you would like would, a would you be quiet? Change. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thank you. See, that's what I'm talking about. I would be quiet, he would be skinny. What we got so would have a smaller head. Beautifully a done. Working nose. And you would be single for once. Thank God. Damn. Yes. You know what I'm saying? There you go. You're welcome. Yeah, this is it here. Fancy dress. There you go. Dressing up. Masks. So uh, choose your character. Oh, I hate this sort of thing. Why? Because it's, it's really forced fun. The idea is, right, people never had any sort of anonymity. So to give them that, they would wear the mask and they could become somebody else. Another some persona. Big ass hands. Everyone did this. It's not Every, just. The- yeah, it looks. Yeah. Is that all of Is that in general? Uh, I mean, he's probably like in his 30s or something like that. He's a man. He's just miniature. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah, no shit. No, but like, is it. Do they all have like. Is it just their height? That's small. I think, I think some of them have like different features where. Yeah, I'm not sure. They're bigger than other ones. Like, like more developed. Because like Hasbro looks like an 80 year old baby. He's yeah, like everything. Is, yeah. yeah, everything is small on him. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, yeah, he does have pretty big hands. Though. Body did it. Everyone got involved. Look at that hats look good on me, don't they? That actually doesn't do a lot for you. That one, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, they knew you were coming. <laughs> 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 uh, now that's funny. That's cheered me up. But that's you wearing it, not me. Yeah. <laughs> That suits you. It totally changes you, honestly. What the fuck? I want to find the one that's um, it's like the the plague doctor. He had a huge nose. So the doctor would wear yeah. something like that. Well, yeah. So you go in for a serious checkup, and you go. He, he comes out. <laughs> the way he's doing that when you. Time to stay. This listen. You've got cancer of the bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want bad news from but someone it's like this. It's me up though, isn't it? I don't feel so bad about that now. Hello, good morning. It's a lovely shop you have here. Oh, thank you. We are going to a masquerade ball tonight, uh-huh. and um, we need to have the appropriate outfits. Sure. This is more simple, more silent. Oh, this one is nice too. This Joker. Island. This is great. This. Yes. Let's just see if it fits. Don't try and wear it like a smart suit. You've got to wear it as the character. You're not holding it right now, Carl. But that's what I'm comfortable with. I'm not comfortable when I play all the characters that I play. You keep mentioning that as if you've done loads of stuff, like you've well, done Shakespeare, you dressed up as a bear in Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> and a green gnome in something else that you always go on about. Hang on, OK, think about the bear in Star Wars. Again, it's a type of masquerade, isn't it? I was hidden in there, and I could fully explore the character of the Ewok. This is when it gets silly now. I was happy with the jacket. That's ruined it as far as I'm concerned. I look like a sperm. Maybe ah, do you prefer Pierre? And what mask would I wear? The white and black. And what does that say to people? The message is um, the dreamer, man. Dreaming? That's Dreaming. more me. That's more me. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't have thought that. <clears throat> Look a bit sad. Well, I am, you see. That's but hold you your body, tell. just oh, oh sympathy. Gee. Get the sympathy of the lady. Oh, no, not a fucking hell. No, just Jesus. <clears throat> no, that's oh, that's man. annoyed. Just be sympathetically sad. Just oh, literally. Yeah, look. Oh, the oh. head to one side. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going as? Casanova. Casanova. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice For you. you. Thank you. you. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it's, it's dangerous. I can hardly see. I'm in a city where it's like 90% water. <laughs> I know. Okay. Well, there you go. Isn't that Washington? <laughs> and the hat. <laughs> That's dead George Washington. Yeah, but you're going to keep that up all night, walking around like that. Dude. Stand aside, peasant. <laughs> Well, I can't do with this. You've been doing me head in already without you walking around swanning about like this. <laughs> Honestly. I'm not on a full night of that. Look at it, though. I've st- I know. Look at it. Madame, may I have this dance? Definitely not. <laughs>
Oh, he has heels on. He has <laughs> Makes him look taller. Yeah, that works. Are you looking forward to the party? No, not really. Oh, fuck. I'm being honest. Not at all. It's what Warwick wants, though, isn't it? At the moment, it seems, you know, what Warwick wants, Warwick gets. It's just a lot of arsing about. I don't want to be someone else. I've been me 39 years. What's the point in having a night off from me? I'm such a dick. I can't help but laugh at this shit. Oh, what, him staying him yeah. brushing? <laughs> I don't know, I can't stop laughing at that. Oh, God. They're going to come for me in the comments. I don't care. Too no much. shit. It's funny, bro. What the fuck? Leave your best paragraphs. Me. <laughs> Warwick's an actor. I'll read him. That's what he does. Who is the real Warwick? What does he like, really? He's dressed up as a bear in Star Wars. <laughs> a green goblin and something else. Someone <laughs> shouted Willow at him the other day. I don't know what he played in that. You can get guaranteed some sort of little troll under a bridge or something. <laughs> I didn't know he was in Hitchhiker's Guide. He was in that. I didn't know. The way he goes on saying, oh yeah, people recognise me. And I, I, did, I did not know. He could have been in 3, 2, 1 in that bin. I don't know. I don't know what he's done. But the point is, you never see his face. It keeps going on as if he's a proper actor. <laughs> Oliver Reed, never dressed up as a goblin. <laughs> Get fed, have a chat, go home. Have you never been to a fancy dress party? No. All we need is a stag do on the next boat. What's this? What are you doing with the shoes? It's fine, no one's looking at my feet. Oh, of course they are. Look at everything it's I'm wearing. wearing. Look. Who's going to be looking at my feet when we look like this? Where it stands out, though? It doesn't. Why am I sound there? It's not authentic now. Oh, Remember dignity. Carl, give us a hand. <laughs> oh! Wow. Yo. Thank you. Yo, yo, give me a hand, bro. What are you doing? Carl's a piece of shit. No, no, no. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He could have like this. Thank you very much. <laughs> yo, Henry, you would have done that? Just like this. I would not do that because I'm respectful. I would not do that. Would he just sense. asked him for help. Bro, he, he's respectful. What am I supposed to do? Lift him up like fucking Lion King onto the fucking... <laughs> like Mufasa. It's like a little kid. Like... <laughs> like a little kid, huh? Yeah. He's, not, he's a little man. Okay, like, like a, little a little man. man. No, You're a piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit. <laughs> it's not going to be a good three episodes for me, I'll tell you that right now, bro. I already know. Don't ruin it, all right? Just with your attitude. We are our guest. You all right? That's your home. This is Warwick. <laughs> Madame. 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 Hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm a dream weaver. <laughs> Salute. So, how often do you dress up like this? You don't ask like that. Uh -huh. In the characters of what we're doing. Uh, uh, so, are you very different no, now? No, 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 no. Let's talk about the room and the, the food and the, uh, the, the experience. Venetian people uh, like to dress and do some um, game uh, to seduce uh, her uh, uh, victims. Uh, so huh? let them lower. Uh, yeah, 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 it's yeah. you. It's like you, you, it's like you yeah, yeah. Owe, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? <laughs> Just awkward. It's like a, a, a sort of horrible come down with me. <laughs> I, 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 I like it. <laughs> Since we're laughing and all that, having a good time, yeah. I tell you, I can't wait to find something I want to do that he's going to hate. I'll say, remember, Warwick, <laughs> dressed up as a knob for you that night. You do me a favour. Doesn't <sighs> be surprised. If you're a, she was a nun, she would. Have. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that's why you haven't got one. <laughs> yeah, like a burning. Uh, no, I'm all right. I've, I've had some pasta earlier. I'm quite full. Yeah. 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 I'm okay. Uh, Cheers, yeah. Yeah, cheers. cheers. Just have one drink yeah. and I'll probably get going because I have to be up early. <laughs> so mm. he might stay, but I'll be shooting off. Mm -hmm. Hello. All right. How's it going? All right. He's doing me heading. What's he doing? It's exactly what I said to you at the start. He's treating it like a holiday. <coughs> uh, he's got like one of them little wig things on that judges wear and a little outfit yeah. and. <laughs> Got 5,000 miles to cover, he's sat here having canopies. What, what's he dressed as? He's got like a, he's dressed as a 
I don't know, to be honest. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's meant to be. I've never seen it. I don't know what he's dressed as. Describe it to me. He's got a little judge's wig on. Yeah. A, a red velvet jacket, and but like a small Adamant. Imagine Adamant as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> you should see the looks we get. I was on a gondola. People weren't looking at the old buildings and all that. They were going, what is going on there? What is happening there? <laughs> they probably think you've got a, you're a businessman who's got a weird fetish, like Pretty Woman. <laughs> 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 yeah. Pretty Woman. Yeah, Ricky. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we, we can make a game. An old-fashioned game, a Venetian... Yeah, of course, an old-fashioned. Casanova use it. Ah. Yeah? The pleasure machine. Well, I didn't know what it was. Don't what? More like Monopoly. Pleasure machine. Uh, wanna be the first? Well, it's, it's his idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then... <laughs> then he wanted to come to a party. Mm. Yeah. So, so Warwick, so it's your go. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I just wanted to have a bit of... something to eat and drink. Well, we can. Let's both go in together then. Oh, We're doing okay. the trip together. Let's experience yeah, yeah, yeah. the pleasure okay. machine. Okay, pleasure machine. That's, That's a bit weird. Okay. Sure, okay. Right, I'll pray you. Let's go in together with the Dream Weaver. Put the blind. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 No. yeah. Do you see me? No. Okay. I like so this. give me your hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Give me. Me. Does, uh, don't worry. Oh, this is sensory deprivation. So we both went in the pleasure machine. It's not a machine. It was a changing room. It was just a, a, a curtain. Close, relax. The machine's starting. Wait. Go. Oh, well, oh, no, Sorry. it's my hat. Oh. Parlour games were invented for people who aren't really friends. You've got nothing to talk about because you don't really know them. Oh, what is that? It's like our own. We have charades, don't we? Play <laughs> as a clue or whatever. Yeah, if you get the board game out, it's because the party's not going well. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what, what, is. what kind of fucking pleasure shit is this? <laughs> Whoever's been having like the, the Maybe we should rename this to the torture chamber. <laughs> what the hell? Would you do this? Probably. If the right woman asked me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> to get feathers on your neck and shit? No, well, no. They said that. No, the, an the answer is no. If they're <laughs> nah, you have to that. go in blindfolded. Who's asking me? A woman. Like or a really good look. Yes. Like a like a Brazilian fine curly yes, I'll do it. You guys will do it too. Oh yeah, definitely. Sure. Thank you. Somebody's fucking honest. I'll, Thank I'll, you. Yeah, of course. <coughs> a little so, weird. Alec and the cheek. Thank you, Sil. Some right. stuff. It was rank. Are you having someone sort of breathing in my face? <laughs> a stranger, a smelly stranger, <laughs> breathing in my face. I was thinking, where, where's the pl oh, this pleasure machine? Where's the pleasure? <laughs> Is <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what? <laughs> right, I reckon we've got to get going. <laughs> oh my god, I don't like it, I don't know. I've experienced it. What are you having done? I don't know what he was having played with, what he was having pleasured. Hey, yo. But he definitely wasn't in a rush to get out. <laughs> yeah. I am relaxed. Is this good? No, I've had enough touch now. It, touch it. I don't know what you what, what you're saying. Touch. It's in my hand. Just look after him. No, no. <laughs> I'll see you later, Carl. Machine. <laughs> That's a load of nonsense. I don't. I don't yeah. <laughs> Take the black What's that? that? <laughs> what? Oh. Oh. Hands. Jesus. Yo, oh, I want to no. see. <laughs> hey, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> What did you just say? Nothing. I said say, how must. You know I, you're said, recording, right? I said how must it be? No, 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 yeah. no, no. What did you say? How must it be? I will. I will pause this video now and go back <laughs> yeah. into it. If you, if, what did you say? I said how must it be? No, no, you're cap, bro. No. I don't know what you guys are hearing. You want to see a little man <laughs> getting done? Whatever is being done to him by that razor. But he wouldn't go in there, though. He wouldn't go in there. Okay. The people see you for what you are. <laughs> okay. A capper. A capper. You would go in there first. But they don't even know what that word means. 
They know what a capper is. Yes, they do. <clears throat> Guys, let them know that you know what a capper is. Put the definition down below. <laughs> They're going to put you to it. Like, capper equals two. Oh, they made it out. Just having my bit of fun for today. Um, yeah. Warwick did what he wanted to do last night. Hang on a minute. Getting fumbled and all that lot. <laughs> um, that was his wish. So today, yeah, I'm just having a go on like a jetpack. I've seen it on the internet. Wear it on your back. Oh, jetpack. You whiz along oh, the sea. Nice. Sort of uses the sea to push you in the air. It's like a superpower. It's close, closest thing to flying. The problem with Venice is it's stuck in its ways. It's very old fashioned. The art, the buildings. Whereas a jetpack is ideal. A water jetpack here, I don't know why they haven't used them. They're still messing about in gondolas. It's not practical. That's what this is about, isn't it? Showing the kids at home the future. Look at that. James Bond, isn't it? Wow. You're going to be strapped to that in a minute. Flying high above the lagoon. That was cool. It's not, it's not quite what I thought it was. This is really cool. I'm excited about this now. Hello. How's it going? All right, Ricky. Um, yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's really going well, thanks. Today's a little bit different. There's so much more we could do in Venice, but we wanted to have a go at this water jet pack thing. Right. Because he thinks it's the future. <laughs> so he's strapped into this contraption, which is actually quite a cool-looking device, but when he's strapped to it, it sort of takes anything away from it. <laughs> <laughs> What's he talking about? <laughs> so, uh, so he, he, and actually, I think he's regretting it now. He actually looks terrified. Well, of course he is. He probably only did it to do something that was his idea that he would enjoy more than you. But it'll always backfire. That's it. Don't worry. That's it. See so, ya. Uh, I think we've got everything. Just end it. Just hit the end button. Okay. All right. Enjoy yourself. Speak to you soon. Yeah. Cheers, Ricky. Thanks. Bye. All right. Slowly, slowly. Yeah. Slowly. It's always pulling me back. Yeah. Lower. I thought you're just in the water and you give it that. I'm just not a good swimmer and I've got like fucking scaffolding strapped to me back. It's meant to be the future. <laughs> you alright? Not really, I don't want to do it. I thought it was going to be easier than this. Well, once you're in, it'll be fine. This is the hard bit, they're getting in. Yeah, it's weight, I can't breathe, they've got fucking polar neck on, I hate these, I can't... Uh... Well, would you rather be freezing cold? You're going to appreciate that I don't that know, I'd there. just rather not be doing this. I don't know why I picked <laughs> you it. You booked it's it! thing again, I know. Don't annoy me. It's only one step. God, this is heavy. Okay. Hang on, let me just have a rest a minute. Where would you rather be now, in there or in the pleasure tent? <laughs> <laughs> just lie back and just relax. OK. <laughs> So undignified, isn't it? Slowly, slowly. Carl, how do you feel? Excited? You gotta get get up in the water like this. Stand straight. Yeah, just be a straight up and down. My legs are full of air. <laughs> sure. <laughs> My legs are full of air. Just lean forward. Just lean forward and, and trying. I love the fact that he snooped yeah, himself with this. This is idea. I'm having problems putting my legs down. Just lean forward. One, two, three. <sighs> no. <sighs> right. Okay, now just relax. You feel calm? Okay. All right, so you ready then? <laughs> Hit the button. <sighs> Just try to keep yourself balanced. Now roll over in your belly. Roll over. Twist. What are you? Roll over. <laughs> you alright? No, forget it. I couldn't control it. You just gotta throw your weight back and roll over. No, forget it. I'll get the water with you want. Not worth it. This isn't ready yet. Jesus Christ. Exciting, isn't it? How's this got made? <laughs> I want to see, see people on the dragons, then we're more useful stuff. This is fucking death trap. We don't have to send people out. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Carl, smile, I'll get a nice picture of you with Venice behind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm doing a dive. 
me, did he? I nearly died. You're fine. Just <laughs> pull the ball. Pull the cork. Just pull the ball and you'll come out of the jetpack. No, he said the cork. What? Well, doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, pull the cork. Just pull it. <laughs> it's not coming off. What's it? I'll tell you what, once it's off, put it in the fucking bin. <laughs> Shit. Pull the yellow cord oh. out. The yellow Try cord. pulling the yellow cord. No, the yellow, the yellow one. It's on the wrong cord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, wait a second now. Up yeah. Up the <laughs> the state of that. It's like a beetle clinging on for his life. <laughs> See again, it's me picking things. I don't know what I want in life. I pick that. I've got no one else to blame. I'm not a great swimmer and I couldn't get out of it. It's only life flash before me then. What did you see? S seaweed. <laughs> huh. Embarrassing, really, that one. <laughs> What a fucking mistake. Mr. Gave it a go. Well, well, you sat there. Gave it a go. I don't know. I don't think the motor actually started, did it, the whole time? We were there. <laughs> someone else. There's other roads to be created, other paths to go down now. You don't always go the same way to Tesco, do you? Now, it's got one of the largest communities of Roman gypsies in Europe, so they look after you tonight, and I know you like caravan holidays, so you'll be right home there, all right? See you later. Cheers. Uh, being a gypsy. I don't know, there's a little bit of me that I think would like it, but then, I don't know, I don't like change, do I? And their life, that's all it is, it's just one big change day after day, isn't it? They never get used to the surroundings. You know what I mean? It's like going on holiday, isn't it? Those first few days you have where you think, right, where's the shop? Where can you get the milk from? There's nothing here. <laughs> I don't understand how people at home can call themselves gypsies, because it's nothing like that at home. They're not going around in a little horse cart like that. They've got a static caravan on breeze blocks. They're not going anywhere. They're not travellers, are they? They can't go anywhere. It's some, just some, some bricks. Thank you. Apple pie? Excellent. Really nice. Thank you. Lovely. Mm. Oh, okay. Thank you. Lovely. Oh, do we, do we so sleep good. in here God. tonight? Oh, that's fine. What is yeah. it? I think it, I think it's I think it's I think it's pita. Like I think it's bread. Pita, yeah. Oh, okay. But it's like with stuff. Yeah, inside. I think so. It looked like breakfast to me for a second. Yeah, like you know, like it's like a mix of baked bread with meat or cheese or whatever. It's fucking amazing, bro. Yeah. Carl, there's a hole in the roof. Let's get that plastic sheeting on. Do we put the plastic on the outside? Over the top. Yeah. Carl, can you get my case in before it gets wet as well? Oh. That's got a hole in it. Hang on, I need a bit more room than that. Look how short that is. Stop moaning. Look at it. There's nothing wrong with this. Of all the people to be moaning about being in a tight space, you're not the one. <laughs> never seen that before. I've never spoke to someone. Never seen that before. What the is that a dog? It's a, it's a, no, it's, it's a, a goat. Goat. A bagpipe out of a goat. That's a goat. I don't know. I don't it's think bullshit. it's a goat. It looks it's like something. A, it's like a skunk. If anything, bro. Yeah, it's skunk. It's probably like a sheep or something like that. They just skinned it and made a bagpipe out of it. I don't know. I've is. never seen a half black, half white sheep. I'll be honest with you. Something, bro. I don't fucking know. I'm American, so 
Sorry. It'd be a go. Just trying to figure it out. Okay. Yeah, All right. Cool. I spoke to someone. So I said, oh, what instrument are you playing? They go, oh, playing the goat. Yeah. Never oh, seen yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Properly yeah. nicely done as well. Like, it doesn't look ropey. Sort of, you know, a dead animal. It looks quite perky. I suppose any animal that has more reasons to be around helps it in the long run. Didn't see the head. That's the problem with pandas and things. They haven't got a job, have they? <coughs> They're dying out and no one cares. Whereas if you've got an animal that's chipping in, dogs do a lot now. Yo, they blind the dogs. Yes, that's just another job for the goat, isn't it? It does milk, does cheese. Musical instrument. A lot of gypsies in Albania. Yeah. When I, when I went back, they're like all over the streets, especially in, in the city. <coughs> I remember when we were younger, even like in our village, they would come by and like ask for food and stuff, and then they'd go out to the like back and like in the yards. Yeah, and it's like, yeah, their rep is very negative though. Yeah. They're they're hated, man. I remember when I was younger, I because then obviously here we we have like homeless people, so you always yeah. try to give them something. I tried to give them something, and then I it was my old grandma. So they were like, "Oh, don't don't give them because they'll bother you." Yeah, and I I was young, and then when I went back older, they bother you. They they might be worse than like. American, like New York, you know, yeah. the crackheads. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. Though. I don't know how they do it. God bless them. Man. It's fucking yeah, it's travelers, crazy. man. For wandering like people. Yeah. It's yeah, nomads. Yeah. It's good. Got a good tune out of it. I had a good dance. Did me bit. He does you know, the same they all dance. seem to be enjoying me having yeah. a dance with him. It's just Warwick who looked a bit sort of fed up and not up for it. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know whether he knew oh you know, there was oh um, that well, there could be sort of he just issues. Said so stretch. <laughs> no, he didn't. <laughs> Listen. So stretch. What's that? So stretch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I don't know whether he knew that you know there was um, that well, there could be sort of issues between me and and, and gypsies and the fact that they. They like to touch me for luck. I don't know. <laughs> My head seems to be the luckiest point on me, actually. Yo, <laughs> the body isn't quite yeah. so good. He's had a few people getting <laughs> sly touches in. Like, <laughs> sort of coming up with reasons to touch his head, sort of going, oh, you've got a fly in your head there. Sort of rubbing his head for a bit of luck. Oh, luck, yeah. <laughs> but I think it's a load of old bollocks, because I've been with him for a while, and uh, it's pissing me right off. <laughs> Thank you. Ricky smart for that, you know. Ricky. It's been hard work. Warwick annoyed me a little bit when we first got here. I was working my ass off there, dancing around, getting them all excited into it. He sat in here doing fuck all. Suddenly, you know, they've shown a bit of interest in him and his Hollywood career and his family and all that. Like he's got his album out. So yeah, he's loving that. That's what did my he children. Take a turn having fun with we them? were in Hollywood. That's. Hollywood. Where the Hollywood. films? Oh. Oh, no, no, Harrison, <laughs> Sam, my wife there. Yeah, good. I went on holiday. I got Do you have a holiday? Well, you're always a on car. holiday, I I've suppose. Got a car. <laughs> Go on, you too. Huh? That's no. a flag. I haven't really got this pigeon. It's a bit bad, really. I haven't got a picture of Suzanne, but I've got a picture of a pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> That's different. There's some jokes. That was last night. Yeah, it slips. He flips all right, really, considering. I had a cling film for a, a blanket. I think he slept all right. I woke up a few times, he was just there. Just wrapped up, sealed all the way around. Like a little samosa. <laughs> so in that way, he is cut out for this. And I've been saying all along that he's not up to it. But if it comes to sleeping in little holes and crevices, is ideal. Hello. Morning. Okay. Will you stop just puffing and panting like that? It's really. I don't want to breathe heavily. Stinks of goat shit everywhere. <laughs> right, I've been checking the guidebook and I found something I think you might like. The Sufi religion, which is very popular here. Um, they practice mystical exercises, you know, to get into a spiritual trance. I think you need to find yourself, Carl. No, really isn't a problem. Or oh, is this it? I mean, what have you done that's spiritual, really? I was hypnotised by Paul McKenna once. Hello. Hello there. <laughs> How are you? Warwick. Carl. Murtazan. Murtazan. Yes. You come in here every day? Yes, yes, yes. I live here. 
So, what's sorry? What are these then? This is a this is a man uh, in in this place. Oh, what is it? It's not growing tomatoes, is it? It's coffins. Yes. What? This is my grandfather. He was professor in of, school. He was a professor in school. School, yes. Will there be a place for you to yes, be here? Yes, this is my place. This? Yes, <laughs> when I dead. Are you happy with that? Are you happy with this as a space? Yes, yes, yes. Right below the light bulb. <laughs> it doesn't feel like a graveyard. Is there something a little bit more? No, it does. It does feel no, like a graveyard. No, it's all majestic somehow. Mad, isn't it? You think it's mad? I just want to remember how they were. Don't want stuff in the basement. It's like a car showroom, the way they're all stacked up. I couldn't imagine this ever... Well, it wouldn't catch on, we wouldn't allow it at home, there's no way. You have to get permission to have a conservatory. But why wouldn't we allow it? Well, I don't understand what's what's so odd. When you come to sell it, people are up there going, oh, this is nice, oh, oh what's down here for storage? And you come in here, oh, there's Elsie, there's Auntie, Auntie Jean. I don't know why you can't just accept <laughs> yeah. things for the way they are. You just want to always change stuff. I this has change. been happening for 150 years like this. I'm not happy with this, I tell you. I would not be happy with this. It doesn't have to be. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Nice culture. Carol, this is for you. Okay. Cheers. No, you are like dervishes. Aul billahi minash shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. La It's fine to start with, everyone's having a good time. Running around in circles, having a dance, having the, you know, praying, doing the what's the name. <laughs> Suddenly I thought I was going, just doing that thing, doing that, I thought, oh yeah, that's interesting. Little there you go. And bosh, there you go. in the face. It knocked me for six. Oh, what? <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> Fella put one right through here. He showed me all the scars. One here, load here. You're going, oh, pull it through there. It's like a game of kaplunk. <laughs> Why he's just sticking shit in him. What makes me laugh is when I'm at home, if I get a toothpick and I put it in my mouth and mess with it, Suzanne's going, don't do that, it's dangerous. Wait until she sees it. If she ever has a go at me again about messing with the toothpick, I go, watch that. <laughs> God. I was worried nearly sick. I looked down at one point and he was sort of throwing up in his hat. It was shocking. I mean, you've got to admit that, seeing it. And then he starts saying, like, oh, we better get him out, he's going to be sick on the carpet. Well, I wasn't. <laughs> he told us he was all right. There was definitely a point when he kept turning around and going, I was worried because there's so many mats in there. If he's sick, about seven mats have to go to the dry cleaners. <laughs> all over the shop. <laughs> I've not seen that on the telly. I've never seen it. Songs of Praise on a Sunday, it's well boring. I mean, I'm not, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see old people dancing around to, you know, Lord's Prayer sticking knives in their head. But does it make any difference? Does it mean they believe in something more because they do that? different. How's it going? It's going well. Um, we're in Macedonia, of course. Um, we went to that religious ceremony yesterday. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, it was a bit full on. Now girl's just sat there with his headphones on, not really talking. Well, it's like, what, I've got up here next. Um, I've sorted out something that's going to give him a bit of a lift. Because that's just what I wanted to do for ages. Get him up in the air with a easy balloon. <laughs> it probably get mad at first, but once you get up there, it'll love it. Alright, see you later. 
Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Bye. How do you get down? Is this safe? <laughs> like so pop one? String. And... I'm not yeah, electric wires right. everywhere. Oh, it's just fucking stupid. Thanks for doing the Marco Polo route. It's cool. You're going to be weightless. Bro, no way. Yeah. It's something he went on about ages ago. He kept going on about saying how he'd love to stick me on a load of balloons and get me in the air. It's not normal, is it, for a mate? To <laughs> <laughs> on at least. Or he could hold the end. The Do something. Yeah. Obviously. I don't care. I don't care what I have on. I'm not doing this. I've had nightmares. Oh, no, no, no. no. Look, shit, they can pull them down. Look, yeah, they have a Yeah, I'm sure they can. Yeah, I'm sure they can. Would you get a, go in a hot air balloon? Those things actually scare no. the shit out of me. I, aren't those dangerous? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. If a bird flies into it, it's all over. You would right? do this? Uh, I don't know. Would you do this? No. I don't no. know. No. Not okay. that, bro. That, like, he, like he said, a bird? Heights. <laughs> would you do this if I'm the one that gets to control whether you come down or not? <laughs> okay, would you do it if I'm <laughs> the one that does it? No. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm all about content. I would record you with like put the fear of God before I pull you down. But I'd pull you down eventually. Maybe. People I wouldn't pull you down. Put it down below if you've been in I, a hot air balloon. That shit look crazy. I'd uh, take uh what do you call it? You know the darts? And I'd start throwing them up. Throwing them up. See if I could hit it. Yeah, so you would end his life. No, I wouldn't. Just scare just, him a little bit. I would only, I would I'd pop two. If there's like five or six, I'd pop two. I don't think he understands how this works. Okay. Yeah, but you know, he'll you know, if you're an art, I'll take one fin down. off the airplane mm. off, but I'll leave the other fin on. Hopefully, you fucking make it. The fuck's this guy talking about? Okay. Airplane nice. fins. Nice. Yeah, you know yeah. yeah. Interesting. You're here. I haven't seen you do anything yet since we've been away. Took some pictures. <laughs> Jump. What? Uh, Is he taking a shit? <laughs> oh, fuck. oh, yes. Fucking nettles. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell, it hurts on the come down, doesn't it? It looks great, though. It's really colourful. <laughs> oh, so you, you need a new fly. ass. It's good TV. That's it. Get the seat round. That's it. Cheers. That's better. That's better. <laughs> you yeah, bastard. Is it better to run off the hill? For the record, go. <laughs> yeah. Ridiculous run. Come on. It's the runway. Go! Lift off! <laughs> no good! No. No. Warwick, you'll have to do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm not on Warwick. No, 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 no. Why not? Well, I don't, I don't know. Know. So we've got what we That's his answer yeah. to everything since I've been here. No, I don't want to. Being short, you see, I'm not. I don't. Really like heights that much. Don't mess about. I'm not messing about. The kids want it. Get him up. Yeah. There you go. They love it. Come on, don't let the kids down. No, I'm not letting the kids down. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
<laughs> well, well, but the same thing for me. When Dick Whittington walked to London with his cat, <clears throat> OK, he looked after the cat. He didn't make the cat do dangerous yeah, that, things for his own amusement. Analogy. The cat gave him company. It was a symbiotic relationship. Honestly, if you offered me a cat now, <laughs> I'd do a swap. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Next time on An Idiot Abroad. Right, it's time to hit the road again. You're continuing your journey via India. I just have the atmosphere already. You can just you can feel it. You can feel the energy, can't you? Brilliant, Warwick. Bring him over, he said. Good to have some company. Oh, what does this look mean? A little bit from Oliver. That's it, that's good. What you're going to see now, you'll never get the chance to see again. I don't want it to be like one of those shows where it's just pure exploitation. <laughs> Did you see what I just saw? I'm yeah, I think have we all saw the same thing. Mares. That's crazy. That was scary as shit, bro. Okay. You know what? Adding work is kind of funny, I'll be honest. Yeah. No, 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 adding work is hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It adds a different <laughs> dynamic to the show. Yeah. yeah. Carl tried to do the jetpack just to piss him off. <laughs> yeah, he said, "What if you? What if they all let go of the string?" <laughs> <laughs> just what if kept just going go up. In it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, yeah. Now work is hilarious for no reason. Yeah, for no reason. Yeah, come on. I can think of a little reason. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I can think of a small reason why <laughs> he's he's kind of funny. Yeah, because um, yeah, he annoys Carl, right? Yeah. No, because he's short. short. Mm. Thank you, son. <laughs> Come on, so you got to keep up, bro. Uh, hey, man, you know. I, I Long think, day. I think I'm gonna have to like cut out some of those poking scenes, the self, because it's oh. like self harm on YouTube and shit like that. Oh, bro, YouTube chill. I got, but we gotta watch out. We're on a final string. Yeah. So like we, bro, even like the last, the episode before last, they like messed it up. Shit trash. Yeah, the age restricted it. And like, kind of slapped it off our channel. So, if you guys have made it this far and you saw the black boxes around, that that's that's why. Yeah, that's why. Uh, episode two coming. Barely got thirty k subs, and YouTube already hates us. <laughs> Couple days ago. <laughs>